Mr. Cobble, the head of the Land of Fun, decides to organize a tennis tournament for children. Rulo loves tennis, so he registers to participate. However, before competing in the tournament, he must first pass the qualification round, where he stands to go head-to-head -head with none other than the son of Mr. Cobble. When he learns of his son's adversary in the qualifier, Mr. Cobble gets nervous. He knows that his son has no chance against Rulo, but he needs him to qualify nonetheless. It would be humiliating for him to have his son miss his tournament, so he cooks up a plan. On the day of the match, a few moments before it starts, Mr. Cobble is seen together with the game's referee. The game starts, the arena is filled, everyone is nervous. Everyone except Mr. Cobble. The first set passes over quickly and it's easily won by Rulo. It is clear that he's the better player. As he enters recess, it seems that this will be an easy match after all. Mr. Cobble is furious. He gets down from the stands and confronts the referee in the locker room. A lot of yelling is heard from their area, but no one understands what they're talking about. The game starts again, only that now, the referee seems to blow the whistle a lot on Rulo. The public grow uneasy with the way the referee is handling the game, but the match goes on and gets tougher and tougher. After another two sets playing through the biased decisions of the referee, Rulo loses the match and the chance to compete at the tournament. What happened? How did the match transform to this extent? The truth is that Mr. Cobble used his position as the head of the land to intimidate the referee and to force him to help his son. He disregarded the rules and the idea of fairness and he used his power in an abusive manner. What would have happened if Mr. Cobble would not have used his power abusively? Do you believe that Mr. Cobble would use his position as the head of the land to obtain an advantage in other situations as well?